Hello, hello, hello. Hey, this is Rob Rosa. Hopefully your favorite real estate broker. All right, my friends, today it's the day after Labor Day. It's an absolutely beautiful, gorgeous day out there if you're living in Connecticut right now. And, um, you know, I kind of had a lot of thoughts that came to my mind. I'm kind of excited. I actually went on a seven mile walk this morning and I saw quite a few of you. I saw a couple of you honking at me and then I actually walked by a couple of businesses that I know the business owners, you know who you are, um, Kurt and so forth. So thank you so much for waving to me. But, um, you know, a lot, a lot of thoughts come through my mind as I'm going through these walks. And one of the biggest thoughts that came to my mind today was, man, what a beautiful day with fresh, clean air for us to breathe. Now, if you know me growing up, I know who you are, some of you. You're laughing right now because you saw me taking out that um little inhaler when I was younger. See, I grew up with asthma. So I had some respiratory issues here and there. Thank God right now I'm strong. I'm healthy. You can't, you know, nobody can beat me with anything right now because I am just so mentally and physically strong and I got the Lord on my side. So everything's good. But growing up, things were tough and there were days, you know, where I couldn't breathe. And, you know, it started making me thinking, man, what a beautiful day, the, the fresh air, the lungs and the so forth. And I started thinking about real, then I started going to real estate. And then I started thinking about some of my clients and some of my buyers and how one of them in particular has a, um, a young child. And I was like, man, you know, that, that, that young couple, they did not decide to do a, a radon test. And I said, whoa, wait a minute. You know, we didn't talk about that. I mean, they're still at the very, very beginning phases, but I need to remind them. I need to encourage them to do that. So then I figured, wait a minute, do people really even know what is radon? What is a Pico Curie? Oh, man, Rob, you know, now you got to go down this road. Now you're going to bother us. You're going to start teaching us all kinds of stuff. Well, I thought that that was a good idea to say, hey, you know, what is a Pico Curie? What is it that you can learn about, for instance, radon? And really, why is it so important? Well, number one, we need to be careful because I can tell you, you know, the number one cause of lung cancer among non-smokers is radon. I know, I don't love it. I don't like to believe it. What is it? It's a colorless, odorless gas that is comes from uranium decay, right? So who knows where uranium is coming from and all the radioactivity that we have around our world, our world. But you know what? Believe it or not, we have to be careful because guess where it's geographically located? Does anyone know? Well, you know what? It's everywhere. And it doesn't matter. You know, sometimes they say, well, we don't live out in the woods, so we don't have radon. That's not true, right? Well, we live near the ocean, so we don't have radon. That's probably not true. You just don't know where. You don't know where it's going, that colorless, odorless gas is going to find its way through the, the bedrock and all the... Um, ledge and all that good stuff in this wonderful earth that we uh, occupy. You just don't know. So geographically, it's everywhere in the United States. Okay. But where is the one place where it's usually concentrated for an average person here in the wonderful world of the United States? Anybody know? Guess what? It's concentrated in your home. And that's why you have to be careful. Right? Believe it or not, you do not want to inhale these radon products and it basically will stay in your lungs. And this radioactivity is going to bombard your lung tissues. It's going to bombard who knows your DNA. And I'm not a doctor. I don't even play one on TV, but we know that this radon could hurt you tremendously. So you have to really be careful. Now, how does, what are some of the ways in which radon will enter the home? 
Well, you can see here with this wonderful picture that I put together, and it might be a little bit hard. In fact, you know what? Let me make it a little bit bigger for you. Okay, there you go. All right. So you can see it's coming right in from the ground. Okay. Um, it comes in through your floor wall joints, right? It can come in through the soil, the floor cracks, the crawl spaces. Uh, maybe you have a sump pump pit and it can come right in through there. It can even come in through your shower well water and so forth. You know, in fact, I've seen people. Yes, Matt, thank you so much. Right in that basement. I have seen people where they have had their water tested and there was radon in their water, right? So there's a lot of different ways in which it can come in. Now, you know, in some cases I have heard, and I know there will be some radon specialists because I'm not a specialist, right? I have the general knowledge of radon. I'm a real estate educator. I try to educate and encourage and help my clients as much as possible. And of course, my, uh, my buyers and sellers as well. Um, but what I've heard is that it actually is worse in newer homes. And why is it usually worse? Because today's building construction standards, they build homes so tight, right? Everybody's afraid of a draft in a home. Everybody wants the best insulation and the Tyvek and, and all those good things to keep that home tight. Well, you know, because for conservation purposes and energy efficiency, well, the whole point is it, that radon comes in through the ground and a lot of times has no place to go. They say, or some people will tell you, that in older homes, you might not have to be as worried about it because of the fact that um, there's more drafts between the sills and the concrete and the foundation and all that kind of good stuff. But Again, we are always going to encourage you and educate you to say, hey, you know what? You probably, here's the ways in which you can get in the home and you probably want to take a look at that and make sure that you understand what are some of the ways in which you can handle it, okay? So what are, how is radon measured? Well, it's measured in Pico Curies. What are Curies? Okay, a curie is a unit of radioactivity equivalent to one gram of radium. And then pico means a trillion. Well, the whole point is if you take a look at this, right, um, you can see here on the right hand side the EPA, okay, Environmental Protection Agency, they're going to recommend lower than four pico curies. And what they tell you is that is equivalent to 100 chest x-rays. And most hospitals, they will only allow people to have four chest x-rays per year. The World Health Organization, right, they recommend 2.7, right? And even one Pico Curie um, per liter of radon is equal to two and a half cigarettes per day, right? And we know that um, the number one cause of lung cancer is smoking, or at least everybody believes that. And number two is radon. So that's why you're going to want to focus on making sure that you understand, well, you know what, how much radon do I have in my home? Do I have any radon coming in my home? And so if it's found out now, it's not hard to do a test, right? It's not hard to do a test at all. You know, you, you will get somebody, in, and I know a couple of gentlemen and, and women who do these tests. It's pretty simple. But let's say it is found that you do have radon in your home. Now, it's not the absolute worst thing in the world. And in fact, when I first started real estate back in the olden days, right, maybe about 19 years ago, um, it was a bigger deal because I think it was much more expensive to get a radon mitigation system. Right now, I mean, you might be talking 1200, 1500 if you have some huge house or some really big issues with the way that the, the basement is taking care of 2500. But you can see it's a pretty simple system, right? I mean, really, if you look right from the start, the radon comes in from the soil. So what do they do, right? They usually put what they call a suction pit right, dug below the basement floor where the radon pipe to, um, will basically be able to pull in the radon, right? Now, in many cases, they're going to have a radon fan somewhere in this system, and it, sometimes it's in the house, and sometimes it can be located outside the home. 
Then if we start in the basement, as we go further up, we usually have what's called an active notification monitor, right? It's a monitoring device that creates an alert if the radon fan is not working correctly. You have the wonderful radon mitigation system tag, and it's supposed to be on every single radon system with the installer's name, phone number, install date, and license number. And then you have the YouTube manometer, right? Easy for you to say, right? Which is um, will indicate if the radon is working correctly or not. And you see what they usually want is they want to make sure that that radon is vented outside. And it usually usually has to be above the roof line. In fact, one time we had um, someone who was buying a home and um, the inspector found that he didn't believe that radon mitigation system was high enough after they had built an addition. So we actually asked the seller to um, make the radon mitigation system higher, right? And so you're gonna wanna make sure well, that you know who's installing this system. Now, in Connecticut, I'm sure it's different probably in almost every state, right? But in Connecticut, the, the person who's installing it has to be registered with the Connecticut Commissioner of Consumer Protection under the Home Improvement Contractor Registration Requirement. So how's that for you? So, you know, they have to be an approved, approved um, home improvement contractor, but also they have to attend a radon mitigation program approved by the, U the US Environmental Protection Agency, and they have to pass an exam. So if you have a home contractor that says, oh yeah, I can do this radon, no problem. You don't worry about it, I got you covered. Say, fine, can I see where you passed the exam? Can I see where you have um, actually got the correct registration for it? So I can tell you right there that that's, pretty much important to make sure you're doing. So now that we know, well, what is the um, radon mitigation system look like, right? It's pretty simple. And they're gonna make sure usually that they're sealing the cracks in the basement floors and walls after they're done. And again, that radon fin is really pretty much the most important thing. Now, here is the 10 step guide to the radon mitigation process. So. You know, we want to make sure that you have as much information as possible and that you understand really the best way to go about this. OK, so number one, you're going to do a radon test. No big deal. Right. You're going to see if the radon, if the home has a radon problem. What is a radon problem, according to most standards? Four pico curies per liter of ear. Right. So if you see less than four and you usually want to see less, less, less than four, if you're getting readings of three point nine, you got to be careful. And, you know, believe it or not, these tests, in my opinion, OK, in my opinion, they get a little bit tricky because, you know, if someone's opening up a door all the time, usually they're going to put it in the basement. And if that basement door is opening all the time, you might not get the best readings or if it's um, certain styles of homes. So like if you have a home that's a raised ranch, right? You walk in the front door, you can go down four steps, you can go up four steps, and let's just say it's totally open. There's no um, doorway or closed door from, to the basement, to the lower level. Well, that radon can actually just come right through the house, right? And so believe it or not, one of the things that I do, now I'm not telling you this is a good thing always to do, but I like to keep the, the house ventilated, right? I love fresh air. Like I told you right from the beginning of this, I want to breathe, right? I want fresh air. So I'm trying to keep the the uh, the basement ventilated as much as possible, the house ventilated as much as possible. In fact, right now, we don't have an air conditioner on. We have the windows open. And I'm telling you, it's an absolutely beautiful day. Get out there, spend some time, get your, get your lungs opened up if you get a chance to. So number one, do the radon test. Anybody can do it for you, right? Number two, you're then going to contact a licensed radon mitigation professional to request bids. Um, if you need someone that you don't, you want to trust, someone that you feel comfortable with, 
just give me a call. I'll put you in touch with someone. You know, in fact, sometimes we do this with sellers before we even put a home on the market because we want to mitigate any kind of issues. Or, of course, we'll do this for buyers and so forth. But just let me know. Remember, I'm your friend in the real estate business. I have referrals galore. I can help you with a trusted professional. So you do not even have to worry about it. Number three, that professional is going to do a walkthrough of the home to identify the mitigation system to install. You know, how tall does it have to be? Where's the best place to put it and so forth? You're going to be able to review all the key questions with this professional and request a proposal. Don't go verbal, my friends. Come on, get a written estimate. Get a written estimate from someone that has the license, someone who knows what they're doing. You know, sometimes I know some of you, and you know, believe me, I'm that person. I love to save a little bit of what? Moolah. Come on. You know, I love to save a little bit of moolah, right? But some things you cannot be cheap on. Some things you need to make sure you have the right person. You have that person who's a professional that's going to be able to help you. So go with a professional, get a written proposal, review the bids. Maybe you're going to um, get two or three different estimates, right? That might be good. Now this professional is going to perform a diagnostic test to ensure the proper fan size and the correct installation. You know, there you might need a smaller fan, you might need a bigger fan, whatever it might be. They're going to seal the cracks and the openings in the basement because again, you don't want that radon coming through the cracks in the basement. Of course, they're going to install it. They're gonna show you how to use it. And then you're gonna do what? The wonderful world of the retest. And once you do that retest, well, you, my friends, are going to feel much better. And you can just take a moment and go. And you're just going to feel comfortable that you got that nice, fresh oxygen coming in. And you're not going to be worried every step of the way. Like, oh, my goodness, am I breathing in radon? So really, as a real estate professional, what are we really talking about? Well, if you are in my real estate class, and hopefully maybe you are because this um, started out as a little bit of thinking about, wow, you know, this is a great video to teach some of my new agents. This is a video to teach the students who are in my real estate pre-licensing class, right? This is a good video to teach buyers and sellers and homeowners and anybody who's in a home. And how about even renters, right? You might want to ask your landlord, hey, has this property been tested for radon? And if not, why? Right. So my biggest goal, what I'm trying to tell you here is I want to educate you. And this is what I do with my clients. I want you to feel comfortable. Right. And I will encourage you and recommend that you do whatever tests that you want to that you feel you need to do in order to feel comfortable. Right. And so to me, that's the biggest um, important point, right, is making sure that you understand I am here for you every step of the way. I care about you and your family, and I want to make sure that you feel comfortable and that you're going to be able to move forward the way that you want to. So that, my friends, is my video on radon. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully it's going to make your life better. If, it, if you already knew all that, then still take that moment and take that deep breath in today and enjoy yourself. I wish you an awesome day. God bless you. And this is Rob Rosa signing out. We'll talk to you soon.